Dynamax has always been different from high volume builders. Many of our most notable differences, like our industry leading full body paint, are easy to spot. Others, however, are more subtle or can't be seen without a trip to our production facility here in the Midwest. While Elkhart, Indiana is world renowned for its consistent temperatures and majestic mountains, we thought we'd save you the trip and bring the factory to you. But to truly understand something, we think you need to understand the influences that helped shape it in the first place. For this, we have to go way back. No, really way back. To the mid-60s and a family with a passion for motorsports. Back then, George Creighton and eventually his son Dwayne were building custom cars out of Bream in Indiana. Those production techniques were eventually used to build commercial vehicles and by 1989 led Duane to the production of the Europa, a motorhome unlike anything else on the market. Then in March of 1997, Dynamax was born. At that time, the Europa underwent some subtle changes along with a name change to ISADA, which stood for International Sports and Touring Association, which was their owner's group at the time. In 2011, Dynamax was purchased by Forest River, a division of Berkshire Hathaway, where it has continued to operate as an independent division and the Asada brand, among others, have flourished. While things have changed since those humble beginnings in 1997, we'll always pay respect to our motorsport roots, and that's why we continue to include the horsepower and torque specs onto many of our designs. Today, our ideas spring to life from a host of sources, including residential and automotive but we get our best ideas directly from our customers and actual testing trips in our new models. The general manager and sales team interact daily with our customers through various online forums where we help answer product questions, but also get instant feedback. It's not unusual to get a complaint or a suggestion and have it incorporated into the production process the very next day. This immediate and unfiltered information is a priceless tool that gives Dynamax an incredible advantage. We take all of this data and put it in the hands of an engineering team. Through hours of collaboration and the use of sophisticated engineering software, those ideas are brought to life. Once we exit the design stage, it's time to actually build something. And just like everything else, it starts with a solid foundation. Whether it's a Ford, Mercedes, Ram, or Freightliner, these are sent over to Moorride the industry leader in chassis modifications. Cross members and compartment frames are added and the drive line stretched and balanced as needed based on model. Then it's back to Dynamax where we'll start installing the chassis harness and all below floor equipment. Next up is the floor. Each floor is a vacuum bonded assembly consisting of floor decking, aluminum framing, block foam insulation, and a waterproof membrane that serves as a moisture barrier for the underbelly of the coach. We set the floor in place and bolt it to the chassis. Rough plumbing and wiring begins while the floor is installed. In this particular case, this model will get premium vinyl flooring, which is cut, glued, and rolled in a single piece. Just like in residential building, the next step is where the fun begins and things start to take shape. Unlike residential, however, an RV is actually built from the inside out. If the specific product features tile flooring, then it is at this point that the tile flooring is installed. Our tile floors are installed in trays that allow them to snap together and then a flexible grout is used to finish the look. Next step is what we call shelling. Every door and window is framed with aluminum rather than wood for enhanced durability and seal integrity. Backers are strategically placed to provide extra strength to mounting points. Many of our aluminum tubes, especially in slide-out areas, are filled with wood for better screw retention. While some RV roofs are mainly block foam and plywood, each Dynamax roof consists of aluminum trusses at 16 inches on center, similar to what you find in residential construction. The roof is then set into place and everything is made square before final fastening. Down the length of the roof, we install foil line ductwork and fiberglass insulation. While this is an extra step and extra cost, it makes for a cleaner ductwork and eliminates debris caused by cutting into block foam. 
After the decking is installed, we glue on a one-piece fiberglass roof that is rolled over the edge, and then terminate at the sidewall. This eliminates the need for additional roof seams. One vital step in our construction process is the slide room construction. We wait until everything is in place, verified square, before we remove the slide room wall. This ensures an exact fit when the slide room goes back in. Once the slide room is complete, our in-house paint booths give us the unique ability to paint the slide rooms before it is mounted back into the coach. This lessens the chance of overspray on the interior and allows us to paint the last six inches. This eliminates unsightly paint lines or black tape to cover up the unpainted sections. At this point, we'll install all exterior equipment and start finishing up the interior electrical. Then we're off to start our legendary paint process. That video can be found on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. We then make the short 100-yard trip to our final finish building, where as the name would suggest, the finishing touches are made. 3M Diamond Shield is applied to protect the front end paint. We do some final cleanup and finish sealing the exterior seams. At every step of the way, systems are checked, and then we complete a final systems check to test all components. Once complete, each and every motorhome we build is tested in our on-site rain booth, with the slides in as well as fully extended. The water from that test is captured, filtered, and reused so that we're doing our small part to help conserve our natural resources. We also have a program in place to recycle all of our scrap metal, styrofoam, and cardboard. Finally, we're off to the scales where each unit gets printed with its exact weight and a test drive is then completed. If, and only if, each of these stages are completed to our satisfaction, is the unit marked ready for shipment. Of course, our commitment to quality doesn't stop there. You'll continue to find us on Facebook or retail forums, soliciting your ideas or just answering questions like, what does this doohickey do? Or how does this work? When you buy a Dynamax, you're a customer for life.